let's look at simplifying roots. Anytime you're dealing with a question, what that means, by the way, is let's say you have square root of 50, and you're not allowed to use your calculator on a test. Um, they don't want a decimal answer. So either the test or the teacher would say, you're not allowed to use, use your calculator, or I want an exact answer rather than a decimal. In the, either of those cases, you're going to simplify this root rather than just get it on your calculator. Anytime you have to do something like that, the best thing to do is start by making a list of the perfect squares. So 1 squared is 1. That really doesn't matter to us. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared. 4 squared. 5 squared. 6 squared. 7 squared. 8 squared. 9 squared. 10 squared. That's pretty much what you need. If you're in like an advanced class or an honors class, you may need a couple more after 10. But that's usually what you need. Now, the reason you want to put those in the side of your paper is because that's, that's what we're going to use, and you need to know which one. So when you've got a root that you want to simplify, you take a look at the list, and you look at the biggest number that might go into this number, that might divide into that number. It's too big, too big, too big, 49, still too big, too big, 25. 25 goes into 50. What we're really asking is which perfect square goes into 50. So you go down the list, the highest one, we always want the highest one is 25. So we rewrite 50 as 25 times 2, because 50 divided by 25 is 2. Okay, now, the reason we wanted that is because the square root of 25 is actually 5. That comes out of the square root sign. The square root of 25 simplifies to, or is equivalent to, 5. So that comes out of the square root and goes on its own. It's now just a number. It's an integer. And we're left with, inside, square root of 2. Square root of 2 doesn't simplify. Nothing goes into it. It's a final answer. So the simplified version of square root of 50 is 5 square root of 2. Let's take a look at a second example. So we're going to look at our list of numbers and say, what's the highest perfect square that goes into 48? It's too high, too high, too much, too much, too much. 25, you can try it on your calculator. Doesn't go evenly into 48. And then you try 16. 48 divided by 16 works. It goes in evenly. 48 divided by 16 is 3. So we rewrite 48 as 16 times 3. The reason we did that is because square root of 16 is 16 is a perfect square. So square root of 16 is 4. You take the 16 out of the square root and it becomes 4 on its own. Not underneath the square root, but on its own. And the 3 is still there. So square root of 48, the root of 48, simplifies to be 4, which is the square root of 16, times square root of 3.